Hello, Commanders! Welcome to the LEGO Construct and Command tutorial on movement. Today, we're learning the basics of moving your figures around the battlefield. This is a relatively straightforward aspect of the game, but absolutely crucial to understand if you're going to lead your forces to victory. LEGO Construct and Command allows you to build your forces with whatever bricks you want, but every minifigure you and your opponent build will play by the same rules. Each minifigure stands on two studs, and may move, pivot, or take actions. If you want to know where a minifigure is, all you have to do is look to the two studs beneath their feet. That's where each unit starts moving from. On a player's turn, each unit can make up to five movements, with one additional free pivot, and use available actions. Movement in a turn can be as simple as a straight line from the unit's original position, but could also include changing directions with a rotation. That rotation has to keep the unit's feet on one of two studs that it started to rotate from. To help commanders position their units on the battlefield, Construct and Command also allows each unit a free pivot every turn. This means that in addition to the five movements a unit can take, which may or may not include rotations, a unit can also rotate an additional time. There's only one difference between these two types of rotations. A free rotation may not be used to turn around 180 degrees, otherwise known as an about face, while movements used as rotations can be used to about face. When a commander has moved their units where they want them, they may use their unit's available actions, which typically involve making attacks on enemies or preparing to defend against enemy attacks. However, Commanders may also convert actions into movements at a one-to-one -one exchange, so one action may be used to move one more space. Okay, so those movement rules are fairly straightforward, but what happens when you interact with those weird bricks you've got in your closet? I'm sure, you can play on just a base plate, but one of the most exciting elements to LEGO Constructing Command is the ability to design your own battlefield. Can your minifigures charge a fortress, or navigate a cratered radioactive moonscape? Well, sure, so long as you've got the bricks and imagination for it, it's yours to explore. If you encounter different height levels, like a stairway leading to another floor of a castle, note that moving up one brick doesn't cost any extra movement, so climbing a six-step staircase requires six movements. However, if the staircase is slightly steeper, with each step being one brick and a flat piece tall, climbing a six-step staircase would require 12 movements. Each additional brick height requires one extra movement to traverse. If a unit was climbing up a three brick high wall, it would take three movements. Any feature that is more than five bricks high is considered a new level of the map. As nimble as they are, your minifigures unfortunately cannot climb up terrain that is too steep, so they'll need special equipment to scale anything over one standard height level. A common tool used to traverse different levels of height is the humble ladder. Climbing a ladder simply takes either one action or five movements. It's your choice. That choice is also what we recommend for interacting with other unique objects on the battlefield, such as teleporters, trapdoors, cranes, and cannons. I say recommend because this is your battlefield. If you're going to build it, you also have a say in how to balance it. We'll have plenty of ideas to share with what works for us, but that is a topic for another video. The last piece you'll need to get up and running is to understand how minifigures move around each other. Your units are all friendly towards each other, so naturally, they will let your units pass if there's enough space. On the other hand, your foes will not be so accommodating. Units owned by different commanders need a minimum of two studs between them, so keep that in mind when approaching hostile units. And there you have it, all the things you need to move your figures around the battlefield in LEGO Construct and Command. This is the beginning of a series of videos explaining the fundamentals, so be on the lookout for future topics we'll cover like combat. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and subscribe. It really helps our channel as we expand and create more content. We'd also officially like to welcome you to the LEGO Construct and Command Discord community. 
the best place to engage with fellow players, fans, and spectators on all things Construct and Command. We'll have updates for you, a place to show off your builds and map making skills, strategies, maybe even some lore. Follow the link below if you'd like to join us. Good luck out there, Commanders!